market market class. Um, I'm going to look at the economy of Japan because the the investment fund that we looked at today was purely focusing on the automobile industry worldwide, and I thought Japan, since it's the third largest automobile manufacturer in the world, we look at the Japan economy. It's quite an interesting place. Very interesting place, actually. Uh, generally, you've got a population of 126 million people. 126 million, 252,000 was the last statistic I saw. It's the 11th largest populated country in the world. But interesting, you've got some interesting information such as Japan has 175 airports. It has 250 high-speed trains. And by the way, uh, in contrast to a lot of countries in Asia where time is not very important, if a train is 90 seconds late, it's considered a major, a major event. So Japan, very focused on punctuality, and uh, it's the third largest economy in the world. It was uh, overtaken in recent years by China, US number one, second largest developed country economy in the world, and uh, it's uh, also the world's largest predator, which is quite interesting. Something that people generally don't know about Japan, which I found quite intriguing, I, I asked a Japanese banker how many islands there were in Japan, and uh, she said that there are four main islands, and uh, I checked it out and rang her in the afternoon and told her that, yes, sir, you're quite right, there are four main islands, but the total number of islands in your country is 6,872, and she was quite uh, shocked by that bit of information. Anyway, back to the economy. It's a, a, an aging welfare society. Uh, a, a large percentage of the population is old. And the population numbers, uh, the birth rate has gone down significantly uh, in the last decades. The unemployment is only 3%, which is very low. It's the, it's the its main exports, imp, sorry, imports are agricultural products. It's the, the biggest fish and fish product importer in the world. It also imports 84% of its energy into the country. Uh, it has, has been trying to, it's got a lot of uh, hydroelectric energy inside the country and of course we all know about the tragedy of Fukushima with its nuclear power because it's on a, a major fault line for earthquakes. So that has, has changed its perspective on production of energy in the country. It's the second largest music market in the world, and manga is, is, uh, is a very popular all over Asia. And uh, manga cafe business in Japan, they have over, over 2,000 stores, which is, I thought, quite intriguing. In terms of horse racing, the J Japan Cup is the richest horse race in the world. And uh, in terms of the automobile industry, they're also developing, very interestingly, hybrid vehicles, which are vehicles which can use two types of power to run these vehicles. That is becoming an upcoming market. Uh, they are the main focus of industries in the country is in automobiles, I mentioned obviously, in electronics, in the electronic goods and high tech and precision goods. For instance, we all know about robotics. So that's a, a very interesting aspect of Japan. So overall, I feel that uh, that is a little sort of roundabout interest about Japan economy, and that'll do for today. By the way, 94% of the population lives in urban areas, 94%. So there we go, Japan for today. Thank you. Bye for now.